All right, everyone. This is a short little project I'm gonna work on while I'm working on the um, Enterprise NX. It is House of Gawa's Egg Plane Series Space Shuttle. Okay. This is literally gonna take me like an hour to put together maximum, and that's why I'm doing it. I'm looking for something fun. Here we have the landing gear. And the model is on four sprues. And if you can see, there aren't very many pieces per sprue. There really isn't much at all to this model. I got her off eBay for like $6. I mean, I did not pay much for this because there isn't much to it. It comes with four sprues, five sprues if you count the clear canopy, two sets of water slide decals, and a wire for your astronaut so it can be hanging from the space shuttle like you would expect. Let me zoom in real quick and show you guys some of the sprues in detail. Okay. Now, again, there isn't much to this little kit. It's molded in black and white. Those are the colors on the space shuttle. It requires like three or four other colors of paint. And I'm really not expecting to do a whole lot of painting on this model be honest with you. If the fit is good, I may not even paint it at all. Simply because I'm just looking for something fun to do. We will see. We'll see how I get into it. There's not a lot of details in the model. The astronaut seems to have the most details out of them all. And I'll probably take some time taking care of this little guy right here. Okay? Because he seems to have the best details out of all of this. And again, most of this just looks like a simple little kit. Now, one of the things that I like from this kit is this sheet of decals. Okay? I'm trying to decide if I want to use them or not. I probably will, simply because this is supposed to be a fun, short little model. Um, we have the black markings for the wings and the main tail fin so you do not have to paint those. I think that's a nice little extra bonus detail. My only concern is putting this decal over the clear visor. But, you know, it might be more fun to use the decal, it might be more fun to paint it. We will see what happens when I get working on it. Well, there you go. I'm gonna work on this kit in between working on the NX anytime I have some extra time. For instance, I'm about to do a bunch of seam filling on the NX. Well, once I put the putty on there, it's gotta sit and dry for an hour or two. I like to let it dry overnight before I mess with it. And if I have an extra 30, 40 minutes, I'm gonna play with this little guy. All right, see you then. Well, I'm back, working on the egg plane, the egg shuttle. Right here, we have Mr. Astronaut. He's glued together. I have to do a teeny bit of seam filling where the backpack meets Astronaut. And on top of his head, there's a rough spot. Okay. Um, there were some bad mold lines along the sides here that I had to take out. And I had to restore some of the um, textures with a file. Okay, and he'll be ready to paint really soon. The next part that was really bad on the seams was this thing. I don't know what this is, it goes in the shuttle's cargo bay. But right along the edge of this drum, if I sneak in a little bit you can see it better, is one really bad seam. It's the worst seam on the whole model. Okay, now, zooming out a little bit, we have the egg shuttle itself. Okay. The bad seams on it are right along the nose. You can see them right there. And there's, I don't know if this seam back here along that back edge of the cargo bay will show. The other bad seams are on the back along here and along here. I realize some of this is supposed to show, but there, there's some gaps in there I want to get rid of. Okay. No bad seams along the back where the engine housing mounts up. The wings themselves are not glued together. 
mainly because there's going to be almost no seam when they go together. That's engineered really well. I need to do a teeny bit of cleanup along the edge of it, but that's fine. One of the good parts is when the wings are glued to the shuttle, there will be very little seams that I have to deal with there. So, in a lot of ways, this is a well-engineered model. In some ways, it's bad. One of the bad parts, these are the shuttle bay doors, the cargo bay doors, and in them, there's some bad mold marks. There's one right here and one right here. I gotta sand those out. Um, I wanna cover these with aluminum foil to make them nice and shiny, and that's gonna show right through the aluminum foil, so I gotta sand that out. I got a little bit of finishing work to do. I have glued together what I need to on this for painting. Uh, once it's painted, I'll glue the rest together. All in all, this is a fun little kit so far. Just a few bad seam lines, but nothing major. Back later. Okay, I'm back with my update on the egg shuttle. As you can see in the video, I've decided to glue most of it together. Part of that was because when I did a dry fit, some of the parts weren't fitting very well. So I just decided I'm going to glue it all together, putty it all up, tape it, and then paint it. Okay. She's glued together as far as I'm going to go before painting. Um, the only thing that's missing are the cargo bay arms, I mean doors that go here. There's a little robot arm that goes in the front here. There is a sort of space station thingy here. Okay? And I don't have the landing gear on it, and I don't have the engines on it. Alright, all the landing gear and the engines are going to get painted separately. The cargo bay stuff's going to get painted separately. I don't see putting it on here. Especially the cargo bay doors, they're kind of flimsy, and I don't want to break them. Now, here's what prompted most of the assembly. Let me zoom in a little bit. A little too far right there. Perfect. Okay, now, as you can see right here, and right here, I've got quite a bit of putty. Those areas gapped out pretty good when I put it together. The corresponding end in the front, we're having a hard time, let me just rotate it. There we go. The corresponding end of the front right up here went together really well and very tightly. Okay? It went together very well along here and very tightly and I had a little effort, trouble with it. It was just in the back, there was a pretty good gap, so I putty filled it. And it, that putty's almost dry and ready to sand down. Once that's done, what I have left to do is put the windshield in. I've been painting the windshield blue with Tamiya Clear Blue. It's almost done, it sits in there fairly well. Once I am done painting this, I'm going to mask it, glue it in. I'm going to glue it in with some white glue not really white glue, it's a micro scale product. I'm going to use our crystal clear to glue that in with. But I want to mask it before I glue it in. And then once she's glued in here, I have some other masking to do. And she'll be ready for paint. This guy is almost done. Alright. Well, that's the update on that. Alright, I've got her all ready for paint. Uh, I've got the windshield in, it's been masked, I glued it in with Micro Crystal Clear so there's no frosting of the styrene. Uh, all the seams are filled and puttied. She's all ready to go for the first round of paint. I'm going to give her a white coat and once I'm satisfied the white coat's good, I'm going to mask her off and give her a black coat. All right. Back when that's done.